What's up guys, welcome back. So I said we would change these guys to pure functions, um, our components. Um, but before I do that, what I want to do real quick is I said I uh, in the last one we removed pagination and we just have not done that in this one. So I'm just going to open up the server, go to recipes, and then recipes service. And then there's this nice paginate thing here. Um, we're going to set our own. And I'm going to set a default of 500 and a max of 1,000. That just makes pagination not a problem for application. You can make it bigger if you want to. Um, well that way, we don't have a problem with things getting cut off. Because notice how we're only getting a couple. We're not getting all the recipes right now. So now we're getting more. Cool. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the meat of this video and we're gonna go just component through component and make them into pure functions if we can. So navbar um, already is a pure function, so we're good to go. Um, if you don't know what a pure function is, notice how we're not using class, we're just using functions here. So that is what we're gonna be doing. Um, this one we can't again because we're using component will mount. Um, main here. Ew, why are we using create class? Okay, so for example, this is one. Oh, we're not even using main. Huh, we can delete it. Share it, delete. Never mind. Uh, this one's good. This one's good. And actually, do we have any pure functions? <laughs> or sorry, any pure, any things that need to be made into pure ones? Okay, yeah, we do. Here we go. Add recipe is going to be our first one. So notice how there's a lot of junk in this, but nowhere do you see um, nowhere do you see the need for like any of the components. Oh, JK, we're using this state. So if we weren't using this state, we could make this into a pure function, but because it is, um, we can't. So we weren't using component will mount or any of the other ones, so that's a giveaway that you can make into a pure function, but because we're using state, we can't. But one thing we can do to clean this up is we don't have to do these, this binding is kind of gross. So another way, instead of binding this, um, is you can do something like this. And that will automatically bind this to it, so you don't have to. So let's do that to all our functions. That just makes it a lot prettier. Now these are all anonymous functions. Or lambda functions. Cool. And I'm going to bring the export to the top. And we can remove that import statement. Home, we're using component will mount. Login page, again, we're using the constructor, but we can remove this, we can remove our console log. So now handle submit, you can do an arrow function like that. My recipes, getting some data with the mounting. We can do this again here. All right, and then just the last one is a single recipe, and that one's good. So okay, so we, we converted all the things that could be converted to pure functions that we could have, which was basically just this one. So this video is gonna end quick, um, and then the next video, I'm just gonna basically grind through ESLint and remove every single ESLint error that I can. Um, I'm gonna try to get down to zero, um, disabling things where I can and whatnot. Um, and then that's it. ESLint's the last thing we're going to do, and we're going to be done uh, cleaning up this project. So, again, that's it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video where we're doing ESLint.